Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. The first tournament in three years. They'll attract the toughest fighters in the city. Thank you so much. Just talk to Mr. Volcarian. He's got parts. What if he doesn't want to sell them? Oh, come on. Is that to you if you can afford his jacked up prices? Not that a girl keeps talking about you. Does she mess around? I guess she needs someone to play with. You want to get sent to. Hey, dinner. <laughs> okay, you found me. Very funny. Get out of my way. Hey, relax. Oh, I would relax if I could find my sons instead of a damn comedian. <sighs> Can't find your kids? They went out to play earlier and haven't come back yet. Usually they come right away when I call. Boys, game's over. Come out. Mo? Scott? You hear me? Scott! Where are you? This isn't funny! When did you see him last? God! Hours ago. Normally they'd be back by now, but I've looked everywhere. Do you think something happened? Maybe you've seen him. Mo is 13, Scotty's 16. Uh, no, but boys their age do tend to wander off. Uh-uh. Not my boys. They always tell me where they're going and when they'll be back. This time was no different, but oh, my birthday's coming up, and it'd be just like them to get into trouble planning a surprise for me. I'd die. You understand? If something happened to them, I'd... Hey, I can take a look, but I I'm new here. I, I don't have much of... We... Neither do we. But I'd have nothing without them. If you can find them, I, I, I can share a little something I, I, I've kept for a rainy day. All right, I can try to find them. As a pilgrim, I did plenty of tracking. What? A pilgrim? You're lucky this is about my children. I know what sort of people become pilgrims. Otherwise, I'd want nothing to do with you. I just want to help. Where should I start to look? Right here. They sometimes play with this filthy little boy by the church walls. All right, I'll check it out. You stay here and wait. And he was supposed to be an only child. She has to have if he had been, I'd only be half as worried right now. So they're back? The night runners? For real? Here you go. My precious mink! Oh, you are truly sent from above. Lola is complete once more. You deserve a reward. Do you wish Lola to reward you with a song? Um, no thanks. I, I really gotta be going. How sad. How I wish to serenade my conquering hero. You deserve a more proper reward than a song anyway. Take this with Lola's deepest gratitude. <laughs> Thanks. The audiences aren't what they used to be. Lola will make a comeback. You'll see. Lola and her mink stole together again. Thanks to you. The audiences aren't what they used to be. Thank you for bringing Lola her mink, my dear boy. Lola will make a comeback. You'll see. Thank you for bringing Lola her mink, my dear boy. Thank you for bringing... Yeah, the butcher's men are high on some weird kind of drug. <sighs> Alamed all over again.
Lola Hummink, my dear boy. We see this. Thank you for bringing Lola Hummink, my dear boy. Lola I can't and carry Together again. <laughs> Great quality. Watch out for that, my boy. That's very special, my boy. Nice one, son. Nice one. To come and visit again. Won't you? Lola and her mate stole together again. This is madness, Sophie. The peacekeepers have more weapons. Men. They will crush us like worms. Ator may have more men, but we have the home field advantage. Home field advantage? You're crazy. I forbid it. While I lead the bazaar, no one will attack the peacekeepers. You no longer lead the bazaar. What? You're no leader, Carl. Never were. We lost people because of you. Crystals, you almost got yourself killed. My mother wanted a free bazaar, not slaves serving the peacekeepers. I want to restore peace here. You can help me with this, or leave. Roger, Humphrey, arrest them. What are you doing? They want to betray the bazaar. Roger! You have no power anymore, Carl. You want to be like your mother? You'll have blood on your hands, Sophie. A lot of blood. Carl is right. We don't stand a chance in open battle. Sophie? What the... Therefore, we're gonna weaken them first. What do you mean? We'll cut off their main source of electricity. Without UV lamps, Ador can't defend his base. They will be driven from the metro tunnels and cut off from the armory. How does all this get me to the central loop? Once Ader is weakened, he will retreat for reinforcements. Then you can make it to the central loop, Aiden. But first, we have to blow up the windmill. And fast, before Ader gets wind of what we're planning. Barney, gather our people. Be ready. Roger and Humphrey, go to the armory. Provide weapons to anyone capable of fighting. And you, Aiden, Go to Alberto and Vincenzo. They'll walk you through the plan. Okay. Community and freedom, Aiden. Together, we will win.
I'm recording this for posterity, so they can learn from my mistakes, to warn all who follow about the worst of plagues. And I am not referring to the virus. I was born into a very religious family. My earliest childhood memories? Prayer. Every morning and every evening. Knees scraped from constant contact with oak floorboards. When I grew up, I had a very hard time. I was lonely. I suffered. Despite my upbringing, I turned to religion for solace. It gave me the answers I sought. That I came to realize my father had tried to give me. To endure bullying is to earn heavenly rewards. God was my best friend, my only friend. I talked to him every day, and I believed that he listened to me and answered and loved me too. I felt like I owed him a debt. And that's why I enrolled in seminary. I think I became a fanatic in a way. The urge to spread his teachings, convert others. It was not about God. It was about my own shortcomings. It was about me. There was something unhealthy about it and dangerous. December 19th, 2021. GRE report on the state of the epidemic. Firstly, I must comment on the news report now circulating. It has damaged our credibility in the eyes of the world. Yes, the virus may have leaked from a GRE lab, but we cannot dwell on the past if we are to have a future. The data shows that the THV strain is far more contagious than previously known. So far, only Antizen has proven reliable in stopping the virus's spread. However, we've found in Villador the same results as in the other 20 candidate cities. The UV light affects the virus in a similar way. It stops the virus's spread without eliminating it from the body. Nonetheless, at this rate, in a few weeks, more than half of humanity will be infected. Accordingly, we must now enter the second phase of the protocol. Governments should now outlaw the following. The operation of any business not deemed an essential service. Gatherings of more than four people not sharing the same household. Free movement by any civilians who are not first responders or essential workers. In short, we recommend that martial law be declared. We may still bring this situation under control.
Alberta. This new armor of yours is flimsy. More fit for a beetle than people. Yeah, way too thin. Fiddlestein! Beetle shells are great protection. This is top craftsmanship, made from the finest quality materials. Built from... Uh-oh, uh I can almost see the steam pouring from his ears. Look out, he's gonna blow. <laughs> titanium. We reinforce the armor with titanium we pulled from the scrapyard. That's why they're lighter and better protection. You guys shouldn't be such dicks. Well, why didn't he just say so? We'll see. Thanks, Vincenzo. You didn't have to. It was nothing, Dad. Ah. As for you, those two oafs took the last titanium vests. No, I'm not here for armor. Sophie sent me. You're supposed to bring me in on some plan? The plan? My plan? Carl agreed? Carl agreed! You hear that, Vincenzo? Not Carl. Sophie. You gonna share, or do I have to guess? Windmill. We take down the windmill. Bingo! The big windmill that provides power to the PK headquarters. But first, we need the charges that Jack and Joe left at the water tower. Hmm? Would you bring them to us, Pilgrim? After we blow it up, all the UV lamps in the PK headquarters will go out. That'll allow the infected to attack them. Hmm? Old Villador will be free again. And you, you have a clear route to, uh, uh, you know, uh, the past chemical fallout and to, uh, uh, what's it called? The central loop. The central loop, right. How do you know the PK will withdraw and not retaliate? Because Dad designed this windmill. He knows it like the back of his hand. And it's the PK base's only power source. Without it, the PKs won't last another night in Old Villador. But we must act fast before the peacekeepers catch wind of our plans. So, you win? Okay, so the windmill powers all the PK's UV lamps? Yes, it does indeed. A lot of people will die. Only if the PK don't turn tail and head back to where they belong. They stole that windmill from us. It was ours. Lucas and his men, they... When they came, they... Ah! Ah! Damn it! Took, took it. it. Exactly. They took it. Without electricity, Aethor can't keep anyone here. We have generators, smaller power sources. They need a large power source. They'll have to withdraw. And before they return with backup from the central loop, we'll block the tunnel ourselves. Their commander, Jack Matt, is not going to risk fighting in the dark with the infected and renegades at his back. Old Villador will be ours again, and you will go to the center. All right, fine. I'll do it. Okay, go to the water tower. We're going to use the charges that Jack and Joe tried to blow it up with. Let me know once you get there. That'll give the PKs a surprise. <laughs> I'm no PK man. I have to recover the skin of the commander as a certified psycho. Shouting in the middle of the bazaar. In Carnage Hall, the strongest of the strong will face off. They had shears. Don't make me laugh. About time Sophie grew into the woman her mother was. Ah, easy for you to say. You weren't there. And I regret that very much. I killed that father. I took his kids. First tournament in three 
his name? Aiden. He was in league with the PKs. Might even be a PK himself. If so, he wouldn't have given us the water. Don't change the fact he was working with the PKs. I'm keeping an eye on him. I think you find him intriguing. What are you saying? That vagabond? Aha! This is ridiculous. I'm good Buddy? to see you. Buddy! Here, boy! Hey, I'm, I'm looking for two kids, uh, Scott and Mo. Mo? He's my new best friend, you know. After Buddy, of course. You seen him today? Today? No. But he and Scott started coming to play with me and Buddy a lot lately. Buddy didn't trust him at first, but now all four of us have a great time together. Oh, you know, Buddy? Buddy's my dog. Haven't seen him, have you? Pretty big. Thick black fur? Chase his balls like a puppy, but he's pretty old, actually. No, but uh, I didn't think pets were allowed at the bazaar anyway. What about Mo and Scott? Any idea where they might have gone? Uh, who knows? But Buddy, Buddy's a stray. He shows up here every day to play with me. I take him home, but my uncle won't let me. Maybe one day. Hey, did you know it's not true that dogs only see in black and white? I have two toy balls, and Buddy always fetches the blue one. It's his favorite. Look, amazing stuff, but I gotta take off for now. I have to find Scott and Mo. You bet it's amazing. I know a whole lot about dogs. Did you know a dog can make as many as ten different noises? Oh, Buddy. Where is that dog? Listen, kid, I, I don't really have time for K9-101. Okay, okay. If you don't like dogs, you should have said so. I didn't... That's, what, that's... Never mind. Look, I'll let you know if I run across Buddy. Meanwhile, I have to find Scott and Mo. Wait! I just got an idea! The Bizarre Gate, of course! Why would Mo and Scott be at the Bizarre Gate? I don't know. I'm talking about Buddy. There's bones all over the place there because of... Well, you know... Buddy digs like crazy by the gate. Sorry, kid. I, I don't have time for Buddy right now. I'm in a rush. Digging for human bones is pretty creepy to me. But Scott and Mo think it's hilarious. Wait, so Scott and Mo may not have come out here after all? Anywhere else you know that they hang out? If you want them that bad, I guess you could check along the King William the Ninth Road. Scott showed us how to hunt Martins around there. Thanks for the tip. Don't worry. As soon as I find them... Buddy's next. Thanks, mister. I hope so. If you do, maybe Buddy will be your friend, too. How dare they close the passage to the center? We are free people. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. to watch so many movies in the old days. Now I couldn't name a single one. It's like the virus wiped our memories. In our memories, you hear you'll that? remember him. Every <laughs>
grungy place. You guys here? Mom's looking for you. Mo! Scott! Mo! Still nothing. God. I don't like this. Lay it on me. Yeah.
Nice. You're my kind of customer. Scott? Your mother sent me. Where's your brother? We... we played, and the dog ran off, and... Mo! What happened exactly? We were throwing sticks for the dog to fetch, and it, it ran in there. Now you said it ran off. Well, um, it ran inside. Then we went after it, and... and infected. It attacked us. The dog... The dog saved us. I gotta go back. I gotta save Mo. Mom will kill me if I don't. Which floor is Mo on? Uh, second floor, or no, third, or maybe fourth? I don't know. Please, help my brother, mister. Go back to the bazaar. I'll find him, I promise. Watch out for the infected, mister.
Yeah. <laughs> 